Monofucus. Sending you guys love and light. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you if you have uh, liked, shared, or subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content. If I resonate with you, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. Um, if you have purchased a reading or donated to my page, thank you so much. If you need to pur purchase a reading, excuse me, uh, the information is in the box below. This energy could be masculine or feminine, so place the energy on whatever side you need to. And with that being said, we're going to get into this, okay? So we have the inspiration card. And oh, just let me tell you that I shuffled, meditated on these cards, laid them down uh, so that I could work on my time frames, okay, with you guys. So uh, please bear with me. I know that some of you like to see the shuffling, um, but uh, I'm working on a time frame. All right, so we have uh, inspiration. Spirit is wanting you guys to know that you guys are an amazing, amazing inspiration to other people. The way that you view the world, the way that you experience the world, um, the things that you have done, the things that you have yet to accomplish, people look at you and they're in awe. And this is something that happens all the time. And you may not notice because you're humble and you may not notice because you're focused, uh, but this is the thing that is going around, uh, going on around you, excuse me. Also, with this inspiration, you guys may have things that you may not be doing that you need to do creatively. Spirit is saying that you have things on your mind that you should be working on or finding more time to do. Or um, if you do not have things that you're currently working on, the uh, motivation for certain things or the spiritual downloads or will give you direction on what it is that you should be doing will be coming soon, okay? Just pay attention to your dreams. Uh, also pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. Because of who you are, because of how bright you shine, because of how people see that you're such an, a, a positive uh, energy, a positive um, force for everyone around you and yourself, you have someone that's watching from the sidelines, and I believe that this is someone that you may have cut out of your life. You don't speak to this person anymore. I feel like this person uh, may like horror movies for some of you. When I see this card, I think of horror movies. And I feel like this person, you know, may have watched a lot of horror movies. Uh, this person has a very, very dark energy about them. And when I say dark, I don't mean totally negative what I mean is very secretive very mysterious um very closed mouth um not telling you know all their business that type of person okay for some of you this is bad news that I'm giving you because you don't want to hear about this person and I do apologize um of course I don't want to rehash anything that is not what you need it to be. Um, but Spirit is saying that you're going to get a message from this person. Or, or you may be hearing about this person. Um, overall, I feel like... I feel like this person may be sending you negative energy um, to stop your growth. Please listen to me, Afugis. Whoever this person is that's watching you, they're watching you because they don't like that you're happy without them. They don't like that you're not suffering without them. And they don't like that you have moved on with your life. That spirit of chaos and conflict that they're brewing in their head, they're absolutely speaking it into the universe. And I'm seeing that they could be doing candle magic as well. I see something here with fire. We could be talking about a fellow fire sign for some of us. Okay. Now, the spirit of air, clarity, awareness, and truth. Some of you have an air sign person that is also watching you. And you may have went through some sort of communication breakdown with this person recently. Okay. 
um, to where both of you may have had some harsh truths told to you or understood. Um, and I feel like this was the catalyst to possibly cut off each other or one person cut the other one off, etc. But I felt like um, some hard truths. Thank you, Spirit, for that word. Hard truths were told from an air sign uh, recently may have you down in the dumps, may have you feeling some sort of way, but I feel like this is some things that you needed to hear, a few kiss. And now that you have this information, you can go forward. Go forward in faith. Go forward in unity with yourself, if not anyone else. And go forward with knowing that you are whole, that you gave what you needed to give to this person, that you uh, were a positive light for this person and their life, and you have done what needed to be done, okay? So someone needs to understand this. And it's okay if someone has either let you go or if you've let them go. It means that someone's ready to go forward, or someone's ready to stand in their truth and make the decisions that they need to make. Nothing wrong with that either way, okay? But I see you, Ophiuchus, Going forth with your truth, okay, and, and being faithful to yourself, um, being in union with yourself and feeling whole first and foremost before you go forward with anything else, okay? So you may be sitting with yourself right now because you could be a little hurt, but after you deal with this situation, right, after you deal with the situation, it's going to be onward and upward for you. Now, we have Scorpio energy coming through here with the Six of Cups. You're going through an emotional healing right now. You could have recently renewed an old friendship that could have hurt you. This could be this air sign energy or could be this fire sign energy that I'm feeling over here. Take it how it resonates. Um, however, I feel like you're like, you know, I feel like we've grown or I have grown since I was with this person. So this could have been a soulmate type of union. When the soulmates come in, they help you grow, okay, in some um, capacity. So you guys could have grown, okay? And I feel like this is energetically, um, some of you may have children with this person, but I do feel like this is mostly energetic, Right, so you went from here to there, and the understanding of this union that you may have had with this person may have got you uh, to a place of higher clarity uh, on your spiritual path, right? This is what I'm seeing. Emotional healing. Um, you may have had a reunion with someone. You may have wanted to share with this person, but I don't feel like you were getting the support that you deserved from this person, okay? Um, let's go forward. What else does a Fucus need to know? Yep, Knight of Swords, okay? So with this Knight of Swords energy, this person, right? And we have Sagittarian energy here. Um, we have this bow and arrow here, which indicates Sagittarius, okay? We are in a Fucus reading, which is totally appropriate, all right? So we have Knight of Swords with this energy. What I'm seeing, my loves, is that, you know, of course, this air sign energy is here. Could have possibly also been a Taurus. I feel like they have big changes in their life and they may have been a little bit rebellious when it came to a situation or a situation ship with you. And I feel like they were out in the world seizing opportunities that did not include you. They were maybe very impulsive, very focused on what it is that they wanted to be focused on. And they made swift movements. And I feel like they made swift movements towards other people without telling you, okay? What else? Yep, I feel like they're still chasing others or still chasing the fast life. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Yep, Four of Wands. They still want to reconnect with you, why? Because your energy is infectious and because you have also been an inspiration to them, you feel so comfortable to this person. 
a fucus. They feel your energy and they miss your energy when it's no longer a part of their life. However, I feel like you have made a decision and you've said, you know, <laughs> this is not an energy that I wish to be in. I wish to go forward in faith, forward with wholeness, right? And I don't want to just be an inspiration to this person that you clearly care about. You want to be something um, or someone that has a higher elevation to them. And I feel like this person is still chasing other people. So the energy that I'm getting is that you may have wanted a commitment from this person, a few kids, but this person is still out there in the world and still experiencing other people. And this is not the energy that you feel like you want to be in. So strength is coming through here, right? Spirit is saying you need to have strength right now. Tap into your inner strength um, to be strong enough to keep yourself out of this connection with this person. Why? Because you need to stand up for yourself and the things that you want, uh, right? This is Leo energy, okay, coming through. Um, you need to stand up for yourself with the Seven of Wands card. This is Leo energy as well. So you guys could have a Leo coming towards you as well at some point, but I feel like it's going to be after you totally heal from this situation. Now, with the Seven of Wands energy, you may have been backed in a corner, right? This person may have put you through a lot of challenges, uh, but I feel like you spoke up and you gave that clarity, that awareness, that truth that you needed to tell this person. You may have put them in their place and said, yo, you know, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but this is what it is. I don't know who you feel like you're treating like that, but this is what it is. And then you guys took the high road, right? Just to be able to maintain control over yourself because you knew that you don't want to ever let go of anything in a negative way. You want to let go in love. Why? Because the universe will send love back to you. Yes? Okay, so I'm seeing this. You guys are very strong-willed, and this person didn't understand just how much. But you're willing to fight for what it is that you want. You're willing to fight for what it is that you feel you need, okay? You're willing to fight for all the aspects of love that you feel are important to you. And not just the ones that someone feels like they are want to share with you or they are allowing you to indulge in or have no 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 this is on you a fucus and i'm so proud of this energy right we last card we have the high priestess card spirit is saying hey you knew when you reconnected with this person the virgo energy you knew that this was gonna happen why because you had elevated to another level while you were not in contact with this person right so here you are on this higher elevation this person is not going to be able to reach you because they haven't elevated they haven't changed anything about them they're still the same person right so they're stuck with watching you as you continue on your elevation as you continue with your life this person may be watching your social media pages this person may be trying to see what it is that you're up to why because they feel the burn now and i feel like you know um they're gonna feel some sort of way by how they treated you at one point in time it may not be today or tomorrow but they will you know what i mean i feel like this person will be watching you because of how they feel about how they treated you. And unfortunately, that will be their karma. Okay? The high priestess energy is here because you guys, um, you have a, a lot of things going on around you. Okay? I feel like your intuition has been guiding you. And I feel like you have been paying attention to your intuition totally, 100%. I feel like you need to continue, because I do feel like you have been, continue to trust the universe and your higher self to guide you to where it is that you need to be. I see, I see good money happening for you. I see good energy happening for you. Um, just guys, just pay attention to your dreams and synchronicities now, because spirit could be talking to you. 
okay? But overall, um, this person, uh, their karma will be to watch you from the sidelines because I don't feel like you're looking to reconnect with them, even though you're very comfortable with them as well and you do feel like they're their uh your home as well i feel like this could absolutely be a soulmate energy soulmate connection um but you're not having it a fucus and this is what i have for you my loves i'm sending you all love and light if anyone needs me the information is in the box below take care